Welcome to examples of solving for unknown values using the properties of angle bisectors. So here we're given that ray AD bisects angle BAC. Remember that tells us that angle BAD is congruent to angle DAF. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here. So if angle BAD measures 32 degrees, the measure of angle DAF must also be 32 degrees. So we can set up an equation to solve for x. 3x minus 1 must equal 32. So we could add 1 to both sides. So we'd have 3x, this would be 0, this would be 33. So now we can divide both sides by 3 x is equal to 33 divided by 3, so x is equal to 11. Let's go and take a look at one more example. Again, we're given that ray AD bisects angle BAC. So as we just stated, we know that angle BAD is congruent to angle DAF. But it's also true that any point on this angle bisector would be the same distance from either side of the original angle. In other words, these two green segments are congruent, therefore we can conclude that 3x plus 15 must equal 5x minus 12, allowing us to determine the value of x. So we have 3x plus 15 equals 5x minus 12. So of course if we're going to solve for x, we need to have x on one side of the equation. Let's go ahead and subtract 5x on both sides of the equation. So we'd have negative 2x plus 15 equals, this would be negative 12. Now let's go ahead and subtract 15 on both sides of the equation. So we'd have negative 2x equals, this would be negative 27. Now we'll divide both sides by negative 2. So we'd have x equals, this would be positive 27 halves. Well, 27 divided by 2 would be 13.5. So the question here asks us to solve for x. So we know x is equal to 13.5. But you may also be asked to determine the length of each segment. Well, we know they're the same length, so we should be able to just sub in x equals 13.5 to either expression to determine the actual length of these segments. Let's go ahead and do that. So using the expression 3x plus 15, now that we know x is 13.5, we can replace x with 13.5 to determine the length of these two segments. So 3 times 13.5, that's going to be 40.5 plus 15, and 40.5 plus 15 would be 55.5. And this will be the length of this green segment. Just to show that it doesn't matter, let's go ahead and evaluate 5x minus 12 when x is 13.5. So we have 5 times 13.5 minus 12. Well, 5 times 13.5, that's going to be 67.5 minus 12. And of course, we get the same length, 55.5. We don't know the units, but that would be the length, verifying that these two green segments are congruent. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found these two examples helpful.